What up, it's your boy Nick from MMA Pixels with Enrique Marte. Enrique is ranked number four flyweight in the in camo and is currently the flyweight champion of Epic Fighting. How are you doing, Enrique? I'm good, Nick. How are you? I'm doing great. I know you have a big matchup coming up February 16th for Epic Fighting. You're going to defend your title for the second time. How's training going? Oh, it's going great. I actually just got done training. I trained um, from 10 a.m. until 12.30. I got my grappling and my kickboxing in, and then uh, I'm eating a little lunch, going to take a nap, and then I go train back again at four. Wow, is that, uh, you do that two times a day, every day? Every day, Monday through Friday, and Saturdays and Sundays, I normally come by the gym because I don't really do too much else. I get bored. I noticed you had your first fight in uh, 2017, and you actually had six fights total in the year. Why so fast? Oh, uh, I actually, uh, I actually started training way back in um, 2010, I believe, like early 2010, in uh, upstate New York, where I'm from. And uh, since it just recently became legal there, about a, a year and some change ago, I. Um, I just wasn't able to get fights, you know, I, I was doing jiu-jitsu at one place, I was boxing at another place, I was wrestling at my uh, buddy of mine's house, and I just couldn't really get any fights, the 125 weight class didn't really exist, so it was kind of a lot of things, and uh, I really came here, and I was like, you know, I was chomping at the bits to get fights, I walked into the gym, first thing I told them, I was like, hey, like, I'm a train a little bit, I got a little experience, but I never had an MMA fight, and you know, I'm ready to fight, and you know, they, they told me to stay in the gym. I stayed in the gym, and they, they gave me the green light. And I, you know, as long as I'm healthy, I'm, I'm willing to accept any and all fights. You know, even if they're, they're a little close together, or, you know, what seems like a lot in a little shorter amount of time, I'm still pretty young, so I can uh, take the, the abuse, so to speak. That's awesome. What gym do you train out of? Uh, the arena right here in San Diego. And who are some of your training partners? Oh, uh, I got, um... Jazzy Jeff Crane, who's actually the, the number one welterweight in uh, amateur. He's actually making his pro debut soon. I got uh, Alex Trinidad, who is uh, another pro fighter. He's uh, he's going to be fighting for Bellator coming up soon. Uh, I got uh, Baby Joe Tenenglo, a uh, um, Bellator veteran, trained with a lot. And then uh, I got a lot of other, you know, amateur and pro guys that, you know, come by, they train, see how it is, they come as far, work with a lot of, a lot of guys from different teams, so... We got a, a, a small close group, and then we got a, an extended family. So you got your feet wet, feet wet uh, in MMA. You're five and one. You're currently training with all these pros. When do you see that you're going to make the transition to pro? Um, to be honest with you, whenever my coaches give me that the, the green light, because uh, I really just put everything in their hands. You know, I just they just tell me to keep coming to the gym every day, and you know, when you're ready, you're ready. So I just uh, just worried about this next upcoming fight, and I don't want to, you know, look too far ahead in the future because then I might, you know, miss what's right in front of me. Where can the fans connect with you on social media? Um, I'm actually on Instagram as uh, the Big Cat, and it's an underscore before, in between, and then after. And then also on Facebook, my Facebook is just Enrique Marte. Right on. I appreciate your time, Enrique. February sixteenth, Epic Fighting. 125 champion, second defense. Look out, San Diego.